Another standout moment at the Olympics was Megan Tapper's third place finish in the women's 100 meter hurdles. Marlon Samuels put the spotlight on this indomitable Jamaican. My name is Megan Tapper, 2020 Tokyo Olympic bronze medalist in the 100 meter hurdles. Dubbed Megan Lion, Megan Simmons Tapper's love affair with the track was nurtured after being involved for seven years in gymnastics. Despite her small stature, she dreamt of being a hurdles champion. I'm five feet and three quarter inches, yes, get it right. Most people look at me and say, oh, you're too short. Oh, you can't clear those hurdles. But I can. With God, anything is possible. Keep your head on your shoulders. Believe only the positive things. Keep positive. Keep focused. And if you have a dream, go for it. Don't let anybody bring you down. And as, as, as we all know, put God first. Intense training woven with natural ability will make dreams come true for some and set records for others. It was hard, but um, it's motivating and inspiring and I wouldn't have had it any other way. Megan Tapper's dreams became reality at the Tokyo Olympics. She electrified the world when she dug deep to stave off the challenges of other Olympic hopefuls in the 100 meter hurdles at the 2020 Tokyo Olympic. In a dramatic sprint finish, she mined bronze. In so doing, she became the first Jamaican woman to win a medal in the sprint hurdles at the Olympics. At the start of my race, I was just thinking to execute. Matthew beforehand told me to just don't focus on anybody else in the race, just run your own race. And that's why I was so focused on the screen afterwards. Because after a race, I usually see, like, I have an idea of where I placed, but I literally had no idea except that Jasmine won. So I was completely focused, like what Matthew told me to do. And my coach, Philip, um, also told me to get the start right and get the finish right. Because in the heats, I got the finish right. In the semis, I got the start right. But now it was time to put them together. So I was just focusing on executing. Minister of Culture, Gender, Entertainment and Sports, Olivia Grange, along with Megan's family members, were on hand to welcome her home after her amazing run. I am so extremely proud of her, you know, and, and she has made history. And I think that Jamaica's saying, we're little but we're Talawa, in the true sense, Megan for her size, um, against all these world-renowned athletes, has done extremely well. She has won the bronze, and for us, it's like she has won the gold. We're so proud of her, and I had to find the time to come, along with the Honorable Minister of State, along the Terrell, to just be here for her, and to greet her, and to welcome her back home. Jamaica is extremely proud of her. It's an honor to be here with Minister Grange to welcome home Megan Tapper. I mean, her accomplishments at the Olympic Games, I mean, it has made her family proud and of course, all Jamaica. We salute her, we're extremely proud of her. Um, as it relates to all our athletes, I'm particularly proud of them. You know, they're all Olympians, they're all champions and we embrace them. I mean, whether it's gold, silver, bronze, or just to be in a finals or just to have competed, they're all Olympians, and by virtue of being Olympians, that makes them champions. And I'm, I mean, I'm super proud of every single one of them. With the win under her belt, Megan Lyon Tapper hopes to continue, bursting out of the blocks and leaping hurdles to win more medals. Less possibility. For the news on PBCJ, I am Marlon Samuels.